Hello everyone, it's our Roberto yet again, and today we're gonna be reviewing some of the most, well, no, one of the best Sonic games out of all, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, released on November, no, no, February 2nd, 1994, on Groundhog Day, or Sega's promotional thing, Hedgehog Day. <coughs> Sorry. Um, this is a, this is a save so, data select, you can save your progress, um, Again, being on Sonic's Mega Collection Plus, I'm playing on PS2, so it saved on my memory card, or my brother's memory card. As you can see here, here's the Eggman sign there. As you can see, I completed the game. I actually completed it a week ago. As you can see, yeah, Super Sonic, there we go. You have to collect the emeralds. So what's the story? Um, After Sonic 2, the Death Egg has fallen into... The floating island. Knuckles found the Death Egg, and then, told, and then Eggman told Knuckles that Sonic and Tails were really his enemies. Sonic and Tails saw the floating island and checked it out. Knuckles punched Sonic in the face, and then Sonic has to get the Chaos Emeralds back and destroy Eggman once and for all. So basically, there are six. Um. Well, uh. Well, there are the special stages, of course. But now I don't have any special stages because, for one thing, I completed the game. It gives me 50 rings if you already collected the Chaos Emeralds. Basically, the Chaos Emerald system is basically, uh, gotta collect the blue spears, and then when you touch a blue spear, it, it turns red. So don't touch the red spears. I'm stuck here. So yeah, um, as you can see, this contains six um, zones in this game. This is um, Angel Island Zone. Then you got Hydro City Zone. Then we got Marble Garden Zone, which is my favorite zone. Then we got Carnival Night. Then you got Ice Cap Zone, which actually has some really good music and has a snowboarding segment, as you're seeing right now. Then you got... Um, I actually forgot about this one. Um, launch base. Yeah, launch base. Jesus. Graphics, on the other hand, is pretty great. I mean, look at the colors in this thing. And I... Well, Sega puts 46 colors on screen. Yeah. As you can see, it looks pretty impressive, uh, if I have to say. Darn it, little qu Then you got these special stages. As you can see, um, you gotta collect the blue spheres. I didn't want to show you any, uh... As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's a 3D special stage. The commercial's pretty uh, insane, too. Which is, uh, pretty great. As you can see, when you go around the inner blue spheres, um, you get rings. Um, the timer up there shows you how much rings you have. And as you can see right now, when you put your red spear, you go back to the you go back to the zone. Which uh, I always get frustrated every time I never defeat a special stage. It's really frustrating. Well, do I consider this game? Well, yeah. But uh, the game isn't complete though, which I have to admit really sucks. This game also has a competition slash multiplayer mode, taken directly from Sonic 3. Darn, I forgot the B button is the back button! Um, yeah. You can play as either Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles, at, at least. The, well, basically it's a split screen, but if you're in a Grand Prix, like I am, um, it shows both the screens. And, uh... Well, uh, it didn't, it didn't show that well, actually. I mean, I have to admit, it's a pretty cool, uh, I'm playing this in one hand, so that's the reason why I suck right now. And it goes ridiculously fast. And overall, I do consider it a game. Um, next time we're going to take a look at Sonic and Knuckles, which is the next game in the series. So, hope you like, subscribe, and 
um, comment about it. See ya.